So I don't work with everyone. In fact, I audition the CEOs I work for as much as they audition me when we're looking at working together. It's all about having the right fit. And I've uncovered a lot of the traits that lead to success with the folks that I work with. And let me share the biggest one of all. Um, and for me, really, that's being bold rather than being boring. As I always say, it's better to be bold than it is to be boring. And what do I mean by bold then? Obviously, it's not related to hair, but it's about challenging the accepted norms of things, which I know is a classic startup way of doing these things. But the reality is, it takes a lot of bravery for people to do that. So I'm going to highlight a couple of my clients who are really doing this, who are being bold. The first person I want to talk about is Toby. He's the CEO of WagonX. And what WagonX do is car subscriptions. And what that means is effectively you can subscribe to a car. So rather than say leasing a car or renting a car, you can subscribe to a car. So you can subscribe to a car for three months. You pay monthly for that car. You can change it for something else, like, you know, maybe a sports car in the summer or an SUV in the winter. But you've got that choice. So he's looking at transforming a huge industry. A bold choice. Extremely difficult, challenging choice, but bold nonetheless. And that takes a lot of energy and chutzpah to even attempt to do something like that. And so I love that. I mean, it gets me up in the morning working with somebody like that who's challenging an established way of doing something. And oh my gosh, is it difficult and challenging? Absolutely is. Bringing a whole market along for you, creating a new market. Tough. I'm also lucky enough to work with um, a guy called Jeff Schapansky. And Jeff, he was for a long time chief operating officer at Stack Overflow. And he's got his new venture, Reframe. And Reframe, again, similarly doing something extremely bold. And that's looking to transform computing, really, in essence, the next level of computing, the way that we work, attacking that at its very core. So understanding that work is pretty much broken the way that we work at the moment because the tools are not supporting us in that. So what Jeff and Reframe are looking at doing is fundamentally transforming the way that computers work and that we work and supporting us to do better work through better tooling. And again, you know, appending and looking at some very traditional ways of doing things that have only really come across in the last 10 years and doing that obviously with the background of AI happening as well, which is also trying to do the same thing. And that Reframe's doing that in a very different way that supports not only AI, but the way that we all work. He's attacking it from a brain science point of view versus a computer science point of view. Again, very bold in the way that they do that. Um, but what are boring then? And I think it's easier to sort of talk about what boring's not. And a lot of time boring seems to be, or people think it's the kind of the more geeky end of the world that we work in. So I'm really excited to be working with a guy called Demir at a company called Equal. And what Demir does is database migration, which sounds like the most unexciting thing in the world, but actually deep tech is really fundamentally challenging and interesting. And what Demir does is he's working, um, you know, migrating from one database to another is an incredible opportunity out there. If you're paying a lot of money to be hosting your database in Oracle and you want to move to AWS or Snowflake or another provider, that's a big undertaking if you've got terabytes, petabytes of data. Demir's built some really quite cheap tooling that does that and makes that extremely easy you know it's replacing rooms full of developers and database migration experts and doing it quite humbly in the way that he's doing it and he's doing it in a very bold way because again most people won't try and tackle that problem again seemingly quite boring and upsetting the status quo of an industry and it's also not the sector or the industry that's there as well i'm lucky enough to have worked over the last year with um they called allison and she um, runs a business called da vinci education and they are looking at transforming educational healthcare, you know, how healthcare institutions are run and looking at attacking that from a very, very different angle, again, based on the tooling that's there, attacking a, an industry that's been slow to adapt, you know, that is slow to move, which is education and doing it within healthcare, which is equally quite a conservative, slow world. And she's going great guns with the organization that she's building and the world that she's trying to transform. And again, what seemingly to many people might seem like boring industries, they're really not are being attacked and, um, and addressed in a very, very bold way. And that's what gets me up in the morning is, is doing something with interest and with energy. And um, it's really about the attitude these folks bring to that. It's this idea that, yeah, this is big, this is scary, that's difficult, but that's part of what makes it exciting. 
So trying to do those things that everyone tells you are impossible or too much of a challenge really are the kinds of people that I love to work with and the people that get me up in the morning.